The Jupiter 110 is an important scooter for TVS. It is, after all, its best selling two wheeler by a mile. To update such a product is like performing brain surgery. There's simply no room for error. The new generation Jupiter 110 then has to carry forward the strengths of its predecessors while bringing in new attributes that help it stand apart from the competition. Does this new Jupiter accomplish it? Let's find out. Yeah. Like India's best-selling scooter, the Jupiter's conservative styling appeals to the most important customer in the room, the family man. This scooter carries forward that tradition while bringing in new design bits, which add modernity to the equation. The new generation Jupiter 110 borrows styling cues from its predecessor, the Jupiter 110, as well as the more premium Jupiter 125. The standout feature of the design is the infinity lamp that integrates the DRL and turn indicators into one seamless LED strip. The design treatment is carried over at the rear as well with the tail lamp cluster. The new Jupiter 110 shares its platform with the Jupiter 125, a move which adds a lot of best and first-in-class features. The fuel tank is now located under the floorboard with the remote fuel filler cap located on the apron. What this does is liberate lots of underseat storage. So besides having the longest in-class seat, the Jupiter 110 features best in-class storage with a large bin that can accommodate two helmets with ease. Another interesting aspect is the move from the metal body to a high-quality plastic one, a move that helps make the scooter lighter than before. The body panels impress with its paint quality and tight fit and finish levels. The switch gear feels durable but could be better in terms of premiumness. Overall, the new generation Jupiter 110 is a sharp-looking scooter that brings forth modernity while adding a healthy dose of practicality expected from a family scooter. Nowadays, features are an important selling point of any automobile, almost as important as fuel efficiency. Here, the new Jupiter 110 does not disappoint either. Besides featuring all LED lighting, the Jupiter 110 gets a comprehensive vertically mounted digital instrument console. It features Bluetooth connectivity with turn-by-turn -turn navigation on the console. Besides having a voice assist switch integrated into the start button, the instrument console itself displays alerts and notifications. Besides fuel economy and range, it now gets silent starting operation courtesy of an integrated starter generator as well as automatic start-stop. Another cool feature is the emergency brake warning that has the turn indicators flash continuously in case of panic braking. This is to alert other motorists traveling behind you. The previous generation Jupiter 110 impressed with its blend of performance, refinement, and most importantly, fuel efficiency. The new generation Jupiter 110 carries forward that legacy. It now gets a new 113 cc motor with internal updates that reduce friction, thus improving refinement and fuel efficiency. While fuel efficiency numbers have not been revealed, TVS claims that the new Jupiter 110 offers 10% better fuel efficiency than the competition. Another highlight is the integrated starter generator coupled with a high-performance battery that boosts performance for a limited period. Called Eco Assist, this tech works well as it fills the gaps in performance at low speeds. This electric assist works for around eight seconds before the battery drains, and under normal use, the battery charges quickly, allowing for multiple assists during your ride. The motor is peppy for the 110 cc segment and reaches a top speed of 85 kilometers per hour. There is decent performance up to 60 kilometers per hour after which it trails off. What's more impressive is the refinement. Further elevated by the silent starter operation, TVS are known for offering some of the best handling two wheelers in India, and it's no different with the Jupiter 110. It is a well-balanced scooter offering a comfortable ride with composed handling characteristics. We rode the scooter on the TVS test track, and while it does not pretend to be a sporty scooter, the Jupiter 110 is well composed at high speeds and even in corners. This is owing to the low center of gravity, thanks to the fuel tank being located low in the floorboard. It breaks well too. The scooter felt sure-footed under hard braking and came to a rapid halt with ease. The new generation TVS Jupiter 110 is a product of years of engineering know-how and thorough R&D. It comes across as a wholesome family scooter. Prices for the new TVS Jupiter 110 start at rupees seventy-three thousand seven hundred ex showroom. At this price point, it is one of the most affordable offerings in the segment, undercutting the Honda Activa by almost three thousand rupees. As for first impressions, the new Jupiter 110 definitely takes the modern family scooter mantle forward for TVS.